Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to um, Let's Play Toho. This is going to be a, d a second run, one with different characters, different good difficulties, different dialogue, no continues, etc, etc. Some nifty feature about this game is actually if you beat a if you finish playing without using any continues, they'll give you option they'll give you an option to save your replay, which like you select it and it actually um, replays your gaming footage, which makes it more simple. You know, on a let's playing standard a standpoint, because like you know, <laughs> I didn't have to record a million failed runs, which trust me, there were a lot of failed runs to try and do this with no continues. Um, they skipped some scenes though, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, but I al I also think they almost sort of fast forward the footage a little bit, but I don't think they do that. I think I only think that because um Marissa's speed is faster than Raymond's. Which is actually the difference between them, um, a main difference between the characters. Besides having different dialogue sequences, um, they have different gameplay standards, w whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, Marissa is actually faster than Reimu, and her shots do a lot more are a lot more powerful. The drawback to her though is that um, it's more focused, which means it's not as spread out as Reimu's is. So you kind of have to legitimately aim. Plus, she doesn't have a homing. She doesn't have any homing shots. You couldn't really tell that by um by looking at her shots because they they actually look pretty spread out. And that's because I'm actually using a different spell card than um her standard one. Because like if you remember, you actually get two um different. Damn that, that's fast. What it actually said was this feeling. It's kind of, kind of what? Tell me. If she were here, she'd probably say, It feels great out tonight. Is she referencing Raymu, I suppose? I don't know how they know each other. I'm not her, though. I hate the night. Yeah, I think they know each other. Again, I didn't play the first five games. There are only weirdos around at this time. Who are you calling a weirdo? Nobody's talking to you here. Of course not. So, why are you stretching out your arms? Doesn't this look like it's saying the saint was crucified? It looks more like humanity started using the decimal system. Yeah, so... <laughs> The dialogue sequences in Marissa's like in Marissa's like playthrough are almost pretty weird actually. These characters honestly must smoke weed every day because they do not make any sense. Um, but as I was saying, you can tell by, by um about the spread out shots from her standpoint because if you'll notice, it's pretty spread out. That's because I'm using everyone has two different you know types of damage dealing outputs, and this is her second one. Instead of, um, instead of these cool, like, laser, like, instead of these cool green things that you get for, um, her first spell card, you get this laser, like, pulsating laser thing, which I'm not honestly too much of a fan of, but, um, her, what, but her shots are more spread out, and, um, and the, what, the, way, the, the real attraction of her, um, this, this game, this shot setting is her spell card, which I will use a bit later. So again, nothing much to talk about, except there's a whole crap ton to talk about, and I can't keep on one subject apparently. But um, yeah, this is just going to be a second playthrough again with um, Marissa, as I was saying. Her shots are, her shots for this setting are a bit more spread out, which um, can be a not can actually be, and she doesn't have a homing ability, that can actually be unbeneficial or what, however the word is, which I'll explain later. What did I want to say though? I know I had a million. Just a million billion words to say, so yeah, Marissa, again, I did not, I actually, this run is, I will admit, um, it's okay. I actually died a few times, to be perfectly honest. I didn't use a continue, but I had, like, I did die a lot, because, like, I started off with five lives, which is already a handicap, because the, um, average starting point is three lives. Then you get two lives for stages three and five. And then you get an extra life for 10 million, 20 million, 40 million points, which I all get. And, um, yeah, so this is again. Oh, see, these butterflies. Because, um, Marissa doesn't have any homing capabilities, um, you can't really kill these things unless you're, like, pointing, like, unless you're, like, vertically aligned with them. Which kind of can be annoying because, you know, you have to be. What you didn't really have to think about in Reimu's playthrough, you really kind of have to pay caution to these little butterfly things, because they can run into you, and when they do kill you like that, it's so annoying. So I'm back here, um, in case you're curious, this is actually um, Marissa's other bullets capabilities. I'm pretty sure the island was around here. Could it be moving? Like the island from Lost? It's almost summer, why is it so cold? You won't ever walk upon this line again. Oh, so you're making cold. Better than being- oh god damn, I blow through this so fast. 
Makes you wonder, eh? So yeah, this is a, her other bullet settings, and actually her spell card, which I don't like as much as the one I'm like mainly using, is this. It's okay. Yeah, no, not the best. But anyways, yeah, moving on. Oh. Okay, so, um, yeah, because I, I totally have dialogue, like, friendly banter with my enemies when I'm trying to kill them. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I, I wouldn't really call it, I, well, I don't really often try to kill my enemies, but, you know, whatever. Um, this is, um, Cyrano, I think that's what her name is. Um, according to the wiki, <laughs> the Toho wiki, that is, she's supposed to be the stupid one of, like, you know, the Toho universe. I, I, guess, I guess it's just because she smokes weed every day. But, like, you know, I, I I think you can also play as her in future games, and you can actually do that. You can actually... There's, like, a lot of bosses in this game that you can play through that you can play as in future games, which I'll mention later. I'm pretty sure she's in Perfect Cherry Blossom, the next one in the Toho series. I'm not too sure about that, though, so don't quote me on that. Um, this spell card right here, it it's... You have to actually be careful. Even, even in normal, which I find a lot easier than hard, you gotta be careful about this spell card, because it... Like, the shots move really fast, and it can easily kill you. And when you do die in level 2, when it, well, it, for me at least, I get so pissed when I die here. Because I don't really allow myself to die in the first three stages. That's, like, you know, pretty much the only way I have a chance of beating, like, you know, the next three stages. But when I die, dude, I pretty much just rage quit. It's that bad. So again, normal spell card. Just dodge it like you normally would again. I find this is I find easy, normal mode a lot 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 easier than hard mode, especially for the first few stages, and even the next the last three stages. The last three stages are still hard. Man, short sleeves aren't good for such a good idea here. I should play, find a place that serves tea soon. Hot tea? Perhaps? Oh no, duh. Failed joke. Also, in case you're wondering, this is actually um, Remu's the other one, the Dream Needle. This is actually her um, other bullet setting. Yeah, persuasion needles. How kinky. But it kind of does. It's pretty cool looking, in my opinion. It's not homing, but it's alright. And that's her spell card. Not that good, but again, I do like the look of these needles. That looks pretty badass, and it must do a lot of damage. But, anyways, moving on. But, like, you know, they're easier than the hard. Hard. So, anyways, stage 3, max power again. So we can kill these guys again. You want to look out for these guys too when you're playing as Marissa because you don't home in on them. Um, I don't know if I've explained this before. I probably have like a million times. This let's play has been nothing but repeating myself. Um, if you touch like near the top of the screen, you'll auto collect all these items. So that's good for getting a lot of points. <laughs> and look at these fairies shooting one column of daggers at a time. What peasants? Hold on for a second. So back here again, just had to take a little break because I'm so paranoid, people are in the house, etc, etc. You've heard this story a million times before. Again, repeating myself all the time. Um, so, yeah, is there much to say? I, re I mean, I, what, what can you expect through a second playthrough? I mean, it's not as bad as like some other games like Sonic Heroes where you have to freaking play through it like four times. Uh, I, I, that's, it's an okay game, but I just don't really like it like that. Like that? What the hell do I mean like that? So anyways, again, same old boss, a little bit easier because she's in normal. You know, you heard the story before. I think in this, um, I think in this boss fight I actually use my spell card, which is kind of what, <laughs> it's pretty much what wins the game for me, honestly. Because if I, I'm, I'm probably using it right here for this, like, whole thing. Because, yeah, right, anytime now, yeah, look, look at this, taste the rainbow, motherfucker. Big ass, giant ass beam. Gotta run now. Honestly, that's pretty much what wins it for me. Like, I was trying to do, like, I was trying to beat the game with no continues on, like, her normal, on her other setting, bullet settings, but honestly, I couldn't do it, and the first time I tried using this one, I just beat it on the first try, because honestly, <laughs> that spell card is almost, is, is, is just, it's just cheap, to, to say the least, I mean, like, it does so much damage to bosses, and it cancels out so many bullets, you can, like, <laughs> coast on that thing for so long, it's just, it's pretty incredible. And it's pretty awesome, I mean, like, I'm not gonna try and, like, challenge myself even more. Ah, oh, thanks back there. Huh? Okay. Long time no see. Hey, wait a minute, when did I meet you? A few moments ago, right? Oh yeah, I ran into some weirdo then. Honestly, how many different, like, flying girls are trying to kill you? And I'm talking through this so fast, or in post-com. Damn. She was brought up on the ideology... I ideology... <laughs> 
that shrine maidens are the type of people who could be eaten. Just, just saying. As I was saying, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna not use the spell cards, this giant ass motherfucking laser spell card, because honestly, <laughs> I pretty much need that to win. I mean, I probably could try again, but like, I'm so over doing another playthrough uh, that I'm, I'm probably not. You're probably not gonna see it. <laughs> what do you want from me, guys? But honestly, um, because there are more endings. I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty sure if you use a different like bullet setting, you actually get a different ending. But I'm not too sure about that. And I think at this point, this like this giant ass fu laser is kind of spoiling me, because I'm not even trying to dodge at this point. Just like you know, why dodge when you can use this giant ass fu laser that does so much damage? It's obscene. So, anyways, yeah, full power, full power mode. She's useless. So, killing her some more again. You'll notice that um that she like um Marissa shoots out like five shots, like five different like layers of bullets. But only like three of them are actually hitting her, and that's actually um a drawback to um using her second bullet bullet setting is that her shots aren't as concentrated, which means they probably do less damage than her like first bullet setting with the one with like the green bullet things. And um on one hand I think it's bad, but on the other hand it's kind of useful at the same time. And oh look at that! That one laser just totally killed her. Just as I thought, it isn't really my style to battle normal people. This has to be a joke. Um, as I was saying, I, it's kind of bad, but at the same time, it's kind of good because, like, honestly, when you're when a boss is moving around a lot, and like you're busy trying to dodge a bunch of crap ton of bullets, the chances are you're not going to be aligned up with her, and you're not going to be doing any damage. So this is kind of I kind of like this is another reason why I kind of like this bullet setting more than the other one. It's mostly the laser, but that also helps. Because honestly, I'm not too fond of these two lasers, like these like pulsating lasers. I kind of like her green things more. They just look cooler in my opinion. So level four, once again, <laughs> can you tell I practiced this stage a lot? This used to be, this used to kill me a ton. Now it's actually not too hard. I mean, I still die, but still. These guys, if you kill them, all the bullets will actually become bonus panels, which is pretty much essential to actually survive their onslaught. I never, I would never would have thought of that. Like a good offense is actually a great defense. We've heard that a million times. Um, again, you, if you can auto collect those bullets, you actually get more points. Let's try to dodge these books, cause books, <laughs> books are always trying to kill me. I know books were evil from the beginning. Um, so yeah, there you go, mini boss. That doesn't really look like the mini boss, like the actual boss, but I guess it is. And I kind of dodged this pretty well, if I do say so myself. Didn't get hit, and I get a bomb. Goody goody hooray! And again, more of these guys just met, recognize their pattern. This in this stage, you can get a crap ton of points in this game, which is good for extra lives. Again, um, because again, these power pellets are worth so much. They're actually worth more in harder difficulty settings, which I guess, like you know, is an incentive to play on harder difficulties, like to get extra points, which I honestly kind of find kind of useless. I mean, think about it, like. Well, what's the point of a high score besides extra lives? I mean, if I went up to my friends and went like, Hey guys, did you know that I got 54,622,520 points in Toho? They'd be like, what the fuck is Toho? And then they'd, fly, then they'd fly away on the magic dragons because all my friends are imaginary. But, <laughs> moving on. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much only used for score. I mean, for extra lives. Uh, these guys, make sure you kill them again. Again, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay at this stage. I never want to say I'm good, because I am playing a normal. But I mean, you know, I, I, it's enough to not use a continue, so I'm proud of that. Sort of, <laughs> I guess. These guys, you kind of just have to memorize where they come from to not die. Again, with Marissa, no homing, kind of can kill you. But yeah, you kind of, you, you, um, I'd advise just to memorize the pattern yourself, because it's so much more fulfilling when you, like, Remember, like when you figure out something yourself instead of someone just telling it, telling it to you. And it was, yeah. Look at all these missed power pellets. I mean, I can still get some of them, but damn. So what is that? Three thirty million points. Hooray! Whoa, so many books. I'll just quietly borrow some later. Don't fucking take any of my books, please. I'm gonna take them. Oh wow. Let's see how to passively kill the black thing in front of you. What a racist book. Is that actually written there? Huh, my eyes have getting worse lately. It's because the room is so dark, perhaps I lack iron. I think you mean vitamin A. What about you? I have enough. I'm plenty of things. Then I'll dig in. I'm convinced that this entire game is just one big sexual innuendo. <laughs> just saying. Let's see. How to easily remove portions of unneeded food. 
What's with all these characters being cannibals? I don't get it. It's probably because they indulge in the cannabis every day. <laughs> but that's the last time I'm going to make that joke. For this part, at least. I have no idea. I'm probably going to spam it until it's old, to be perfectly honest, because I'm just a loser like that. Again, in normal mode, these, these giant-ass lasers that she shoots travel a lot slower, so you can actually dodge them pretty well. Um, and actually, when you're playing in, when you're playing with Reimu's, uh, oh, not Reimu, I always get the two confused. When you're playing with Marissa's, like, FU laser, spell, spell, like, weapon settings, she actually uses different spell cards. I've never seen her do this before, that spell card before. And actually, she has, this character, actually, this boss we're facing right now, has a ton of different, um, spell cards in her arsenal. Like, honestly, like... If you're playing on a different um, difficulty setting, she'll use different spell cards. If you're playing on a different weapon setting, she'll use different spell cards. In fact, pretty much all the spell like half the spell cards she uses in this fight, I have never seen before, and I kind of get scared. Which is kind of why I spam the laser like a million times, because I'm not used to dodging these. <laughs> also because I suck at this game. But, you know. So again, I've never seen this one before. Well, I probably have. Uh, yeah, I probably haven't. And, um, this one, if you're playing on normal, is actually her last, her last stand spell card, but in this one it's her second to last stand, I guess. Again, <laughs> they're, all, they're all cool, she, it, it, I, I do find it cool how she has, like, a ton of different spell cards, because it, it is based on the elements, and there's so much stuff you can do with the elements. Again, never seen this one before, kind of scares me. <laughs> New stuff scares me, that's why I'm afraid to go outside, right? Uh, uh, no. I dodge pretty well until I just get lazy, I guess. So again, look, this one laser takes out essentially half her health. It's pretty crazy. Magic seems like your forte. You're not hiding anything more, are you? Sob, sob. I'm so animic, I can't even recite the spells. Animic. Adjective. Suffering from anemia. Lacking in color, spirit, or vitality. Animic. But anyways, in the next part, we'll face off more, um, face off more foes. I've, this video has been over for a while now, hasn't it? Until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!